wordpress.com versus wordpress.org what are the key differences and most importantly which one should you choose to build your website let's find out all the key differences and answer that question in this video hey guys my name is yuvraj and if you enjoy content about wordpress then make sure to subscribe to this channel because we create a lot of wordpress related content coming to the point of the video you all know that wordpress is a website building software more specifically it's a content management software or content management system which helps you build websites and manage the content of your website so let me explain the key difference between wordpress.com and wordpress.org and the key difference is hosting while wordpress.com is a hosted platform wordpress.org or wordpress.org is a self-hosted platform if you don't know what that means let me explain that with an example Let's say you want to open up a pizza shop in a location. You go to a popular pizza place and say, "Hey, I want to open up a franchise of your store." So they say, "All right. Here's the location, here's the franchise fees, and here's the franchise branding and everything, and now you can open up your store." This would be compared to wordpress.com because they not only give you all the details or all the tools necessary to start the shop, but they also give you the necessary place or location in this case, which is hosting. Compare that with wordpress.org. the store might say okay we'll charge you a franchise fee and we'll give you the tools and necessary to run your business but you have to find the location where you want to open up the store yourself this would be compared to wordpress.org because you have the tools which is wordpress the cms or the content management system behind it but now you have to find this hosting or server to host the website yourself that is the key difference between wordpress.com and wordpress.org and all the other differences between both of these platforms happen because of this major difference later in this video we'll talk about all the important differences so make sure to watch this video till the end to make an informed decision about which platform you should choose to build your website also it's free to get started with wordpress.com if you're okay with a .wordpress.com domain name but it does come with some restrictions on how you can customize your website let's look at the plans and pricing for wordpress.com first before going to wordpress.org So here are the plans and pricing for wordpress.com. As I said, it's free to get started and you have some additional plans that you can use if you want to build a more complex or feature rich website. Let's look at the details of all these plans. So let's start with the personal plan. As you can see the pricing on the screen, if you pay for a yearly plan, the price is around 160 rupees per month, which is approximately between 2 to 3 dollars a month. You do get a free domain with it. You also get hosting obviously which I mentioned. You also get to remove wordpress.com ads. That means the free plan does have ads which will be served by wordpress.com. You can also collect payments and you will get unlimited email support. As the plan says it's suitable for personal websites or best for personal use only. Coming to the premium plan which is best for freelancers it's around 280 rupees per month which is approximately around $4 a month if you pay for yearly plan. Again you have all the features that you had in the personal plan but you also get live chat support, you can earn ad revenue or run ads on your website, you get access to premium themes upload videos to your site and also install google analytics to your website which means you can track visitors or look at the traffic on your website and where the users are coming from coming to the business side or business plan which is best for small businesses which is around 10 dollars a month and it has all the features of the personal and premium plans but it also has some additional features let's look at them you have advanced seo options that mean you have search engine optimization tools that you can use on your website You also have automated site backups and one click restore features which is pretty amazing and powerful and obviously very very useful. You can also have SSH search file transfers and database access to your website. Going to the last plan which is the e-commerce plan which is obviously useful when you want to sell stuff online. It has all the features of personal premium business and obviously some additional features. Let's look at them. So it, you can accept payments in around 60 plus countries which is amazing. You can also have integration with top shipping carriers and also have premium design options for online stores. So these are the key differences between all these plans. And if I were to give my honest opinion, uh, the personal plan is very restrictive because you can't even upload premium themes and you can't even have videos on your website and you can't even have Google Analytics or you can't even track visitors that are coming to your store. So if you want to opt for a paid plan or and you're serious about operating a website for your business, you should at least go for the premium plan which is approximately around as I said $4 to $5 a month. So those are all the features that you need to know about for wordpress.com. Let's talk about wordpress.org or wordpress.org. So the key difference between wordpress.com and wordpress.org is that wordpress.org is a self-hosted solution. 
What that means is that the software that you use to manage content on your website is the same in WordPress.com and WordPress.org. But here, you get the software, you can download it to your computer and then upload it to a hosting provider or server of your choice, install it and then start creating your website from scratch. Now this does have an advantage, but it also has a significant disadvantage depending on your skill level. You have the complete freedom to customize and build your website. You can technically do anything on your website, but you're also responsible for everything that happens on your website. If you remember in the premium plans of wordpress.com, you had backup and security options directly built into the plan, which means wordpress.com or the hosting provider for wordpress.com will take care of everything that happens on your website. It'll automatically back up your website and also install some security features on your website. Now, technically this is not difficult to do on wordpress.org, but you need to know how to do so. And still you are the one who is responsible for anything that happens on your website. Again, maybe it sounds scary, but it's actually not. It's pretty easy to install a backup and security solution on your website. And the best way to learn how to use WordPress.org or self-hosted websites is to subscribe to our channel because we create content about WordPress on a regular basis. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel to learn more about WordPress. Another important difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org is the use of plugins and themes. Let's go back to WordPress.com for a second. And also, if you notice, only the last two plans have the option or the functionality to install plugins on your website to enhance the functionality of your website. Now, plugins are like apps for your website. If you want to add any kind of functionality to your website, all you have to do is install a plugin. Contrasting that with WordPress.org, no matter what kind of plan you have, you can have a hosting for maybe $5 a month, but you have access to thousands of themes. Let me show you. 3,932 commercial themes available in the WordPress repository. And you also have access to an ecosystem of thousands of website developers or theme developers, and you can use those premium themes, which have a lot more features you use on your website. And obviously we are one of those providers. We create the Astra theme. And as you can see, it's one of the most popular themes out there apart from WordPress's own themes. So if you're looking for a premium theme, then you should definitely check out the Astra theme. It's used by over a million people around the world. It's an amazing theme. Coming to plugins, let's look at all the plugins that you have access to. So inside WordPress's plugin repository, you have access to 58,499 plugins. Can you imagine that number? Almost 60,000 plugins you get access to when you have a self-hosted solution. And you only get this feature when you pay for these plans on WordPress.com. So that's a powerful advantage to have if you want to operate a WordPress.org or a self-hosted website. And as I mentioned with the themes, this is, these are not the only plugins that you can use. You have access to thousands of plugin developers who create amazing plugins for WordPress and you can install them, purchase them, and many of them are available for free as well. So you're free to install themes, that means premium themes, and also premium plugins on your website, regardless of the amount you are paying for hosting when you host or when you create your website with wordpress.org or wordpress.org. Let's talk about the setup process or how difficult or easy it is to set up a website compared to WordPress.org and WordPress.com. Now the process to create a website with WordPress.com is pretty easy. Just sign up for a plan that you want to use. Just connect the domain if you need to and start building your website. It all takes a few minutes. On the other hand, WordPress.org is not as simple as WordPress.com, but there's a catch. If you install WordPress on your own, it doesn't require too much technical skills, but compared to the process of WordPress.com, I would say it's a tad bit difficult. A lot of hosts realize this problem that not everybody has the technical skills to install WordPress.org or WordPress software on their site, and they provide one-click solutions to install WordPress on your site. Or if you choose a WordPress specific hosting, many hosts will install or pre-install WordPress for you. So you don't have to take any steps, just connect a domain and your site will be live in just a few clicks. And our recommended hosting provider, SiteGround, also offers managed WordPress hosting. That means just choose the hosting plan and WordPress will automatically be installed for you instantly. There's no technical skills required. Let's talk about security and backup options. As I mentioned in the premium plans of wordpress.com, you do get security options and obviously also backup options. Now with wordpress.org or self-hosted WordPress, you do not get security or backup options out of the box but it's very easy to install a security and backup plugin on your website. We've already done a few videos regarding this, but let me also tell you our recommended solutions for security and backup on your site. 
So our recommended solutions for security or securing your WordPress is WordFence. We've already mentioned them in few of our previous videos and also explained some of the options that they have. And I'll leave a link down in the description so you can check it out. It's a pretty amazing plugin. For backups, we recommend Updraft plus WordPress Backup Plugin. It's an amazing plugin again. And what it'll do is backup your website to your favorite cloud hosting provider. That means you can install or backup your website to maybe your email. You can download it to your computer or even install or send your backup to popular cloud hosting providers like Google Drive, Amazon Drive, even Dropbox, and also an FTP server of your choice. And the best part is that both of these plugins are freemium services. And the free service that they provide is usually sufficient for most beginners. You don't have to pay any extra money to get the functionality of these plugins. Now let's talk about monetization options or making money with your website. If you remember WordPress.com, the free version, as I mentioned, does come with ads and you have to pay for at least the personal plan so you can get rid of the ads that come on your website. Also, the free plan also has restrictions on how you can monetize your website. You can't have affiliate links on your website if you're using the free plan of your website. You'll have to at least pay for a personal plan to start monetizing your website with ads, obviously for e-commerce and also affiliate links. Contrasting that with WordPress.org, no matter what plan you have, no matter what hosting you have, no matter how much you are paying for hosting, you can start monetizing your website from day one. You have no restrictions. You can add affiliate links to your website, you can have ads on your website, and you can also add e-commerce functionality on your website. Now let's talk about one of the most important points of consideration when you're building a website, the price. So we already saw the price of WordPress.com. You can see the personal plan, premium plan, business plan, and e-commerce plan. And if you're feeling adventurous or if you're a really big publisher, you can also use the WordPress VIP option, which starts at just $2,000 a month. It's pretty cheap. Let's compare these plans with estimated numbers of setting up a self-hosted or a WordPress.org website. Let me put up a table on the screen and then we can discuss the pricing. So let's start with the comparison. I'll keep WordPress.com on the left hand side and WordPress.org or ORG on the right hand side. And here are the features that we are going to compare in terms of pricing. So talking about hosting, WordPress.com, as I mentioned, includes the hosting in its pricing plan. So if you're getting started for free, then you're not paying anything for hosting. But if you're paying for a premium plan, hosting is included in those plans. So technically, there is no separate cost of hosting. So I'm going to keep the pricing at not available or NA. Comparing that pricing with WordPress.org, you can pay anywhere from $2.95 or $2.95 to approximately $20 per month in hosting costs depending on the complexity and the size of your website. Talking about domain names, uh, WordPress.com includes one year of a free domain with every purchase that you make for personal premium business or e-commerce plans. And obviously, if you're using the free version, then you do get a .wordpress.com kind of domain for free as well. Comparing that to WordPress.org or WordPress.org, you're going to pay anywhere from between $10 to $20 a year for a domain name. Now, keep in mind that WordPress.com will give you a free domain name just for the first year. From the next year onwards, you're going to pay the same price that you'd probably pay on a self-hosted website. And also many hosts, when you buy hosting from them, just bundle in a free domain. So technically, the price of a domain for WordPress.com and WordPress.org is almost the same. Talking about themes, if you want the option of installing premium themes on WordPress.com website, then you'll have to have at least the premium plan of WordPress.com, which starts at $96 a year. Apart from that, if you want to install custom themes that are not available or not shortlisted by WordPress.com, you'll have to pay the themes cost as well. With WordPress.org, you don't have any of those restrictions. You can install any of the themes available on the WordPress repository for free. And if you want to pay for a premium version or premium support for any theme, you'll be spending anywhere between $20 to $100 a year for a theme. Talking about plugins on WordPress.com websites, if you just want the ability to install any of the plugins available on the WordPress repository, then you'll need to at least have the business plan on their website. And if you want to install a premium plugin that is not available in the repository, then you'll have to pay for the plugin and install or upload it just like you would do on your WordPress.org website. Comparing that to WordPress.org websites, you have no costs or you don't pay anything to install any of the plugins available in the repository. So there's a zero cost for that. But if you want to pay for custom plugins, they can range anywhere from $5 to $50 each. So if you have multiple plugins or multiple premium plugins, the cost can add up to maybe hundreds of dollars per year. 
Talking about custom development, on WordPress.com it's not possible to make changes to your theme files or even WordPress files directly. So any kind of custom development you want would happen only if you hire a developer and then they design a plugin just for you and you install it on your website. So obviously you'll need a premium or a business plan to install the plugin on your website and obviously you'll have to pay for the plugin development costs which can go to anywhere from maybe a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars. On WordPress.org, the development is possible and the cost will totally depend on the amount of customization you want to get. So again, the price may range from anywhere between a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars. Talking about maintenance costs. With WordPress.com, maintenance is usually included in all the plans, so you don't have to pay anything to maintain your website regularly. With WordPress.org websites, if you have any kind of or basic technical knowledge, you can manage your website for free by just investing a bit of your time. But if you hire a custom developer, you might pay somewhere between $20 to maybe $100 or even $200 to maintain your website. And that cost can add up to maybe $1,000 or somewhere in the four figures per year. So this was an approximate cost comparison between a website that you host or decide to host with WordPress.com and WordPress.org. As I mentioned, it's not exactly an apples to apples comparison because both the services are different. But if you're deciding to build a website and confused between WordPress.com and WordPress.org, I hope that this price comparison gives you some clarity on what platform is the right choice for you. With that, we've come to the end of the video. If you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, hit that bell icon so you can get notifications about future videos we upload to our channel. You're listening to Yuvraj. I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.